Hey y'all, it's your girl Millie Chun, and thank you all for being so patient, right? Um, I've been in meetings today, and things are just going to be a little later in the afternoon. But with all that being said, let's get into this strawberry letter. Let's go. So Shirley was very apologetic, right? Her voice was cracking. She sounded like she was crying at one point. And when Steve opened it up, he was like, when you become the strawberry letter yourself and he said he's gonna let her talk in the beginning and he was gonna have some things to say at the end what surprised me i don't know if i knew this with all this covering of her i didn't realize that she and ernesto had been married for eight years and then she cleared up everything steve did not introduce she and ernesto she said a friend or now an ex-friend had introduced them but steve did walk her down the aisle at the wedding she said she didn't want to call steve and tell him what was going on because uh her car had been taken from her she didn't have anything she was having to move out of her home and move in with friends she was just really devastated and embarrassed more than anything so i'm gonna sit back and i'm gonna let you hear what you've heard basically today but just the apologetic part and then we're gonna keep going Steve, I'm going to just start by saying that um, my estranged husband is in jail. Um, he's been in jail for over a year uh, since about the right after the 4th of July of 2022. And recently, some um, phone calls from last year between he and I were leaked. And uh, on those calls, you hear me saying um, you were winded going up the stairs at your home and um, Marjorie looks at us as the help. She went on to say that she did not mean for this to really be put on him because once she mentioned Steve's name in the conversation with Ernesto, it was like she said, people start coming for Steve. And she was like, Steve and Marjorie has enough going on with what they have out there in the blogs right now. So she apologized again. She said, you know, that they have been lovely to her. She wishes that she could take it back, but she can't, but she is so sorry. So she said, uh, July the 4th, they were supposed to go see the fireworks and it stormed. And she said the next day, July the 5th is when he was actually picked up and taken to jail. She said she had got a call from Fulton County. Why would she answer it? She doesn't nobody in jail. But eventually he got to her. He told her that he was in jail. It's not going to be but a few days. Everything's going to be okay. She found that to be a lie because now he's been in jail for a year. And these phone calls, it'll be a year in October since they started. She also, if you heard her say her estranged husband, she is currently putting down the work to get a divorce from him. Now, I hope that all goes through because i think she is hella embarrassed so i feel like she's gonna go through with this now i did say this i was like i'm sure she was aware that the calls were being recorded but she just didn't know that it was going to get out to the public on youtube right so she said she was devastated she was scared she would lose her jobs once steve got a whiff of these tapes being out so let's listen to what steve had to say let me say this to you, Shirley. We have known about this right after it happened. But we can't get in nobody's marriage and just go, girl, what you doing? How what you what you thinking? What you feel is say nothing. They didn't want to say nothing. We didn't want to talk because we didn't want to talk about it. And we wanted to create for you a space where you could come to work and have some moments. Because I know what it's like. And you did. Mm -hmm. to get beaten and eaten alive and so it, it became for us let's just be there for her and when you want to tell us when you will tell us yeah when you're ready now good thing you had monica mississippi monica who has been with you this whole ride you did confide in her so monica would keep us posted but until you wanted to invite us in we were just left over here as a support system. I really feel like if Steve had known about this, I think Shirley would not feel as bad if he had just let her know, you know, that they were aware. But she had Mississippi Monica to depend on and she was keeping them abreast 
Monica was keeping Steve and everybody abreast of what was happening. And her life was just falling down around her. And to me, it seemed like all we got from Shirley was an apology. Like, and I don't mean just an apology. I mean, she said it over and over. She was sorry. She hates that she said that about Marjorie saying that she was the help, that Steve um, was out of breath. Um, and just she mentioned his name in these phone calls. She just kept apologizing for that. But who this strawberry letter is really for is Steve Harvey. Thanks. My wife asked me not to do it because she said, Steve, all them haters going to do is flip anything you say in reverse. Okay, cool. Well, you're doing it anyway. And you're out there just lying about my girl. And you got her this, and you're tearing away at her character. And I don't like what you're doing to her. I don't like the timing of this jailhouse release because it just seemed like it added more and it came from the inside. I'm tired, but she got to be tired. The woman I married is a good woman. She the best thing ever happened to me. She's God-fearing. She's loyal. She's faithful. And she's a kind and loving person. I don't care what nobody said. And y'all quit talking about she was in my other marriage and ruined it. She didn't. She was nowhere around that. My marriage, I got divorced in 2005. My marriage was over when the Kings of Comedy was out. Y'all ain't know that though, did you? So Steve cleaned a lot of things up, right? He said that uh, she is tired of being lied on and he is tired of people lying on her, right? Um, he said that she did not break up their marriage. His marriage was already over before she entered the picture. He said they got together in 2006 and he wouldn't marry her because he didn't have his stuff together. But they got married in 2007. And with her, she said he said because he did not have anything. He had nothing. And eventually he got family feud. And he just built and built. And he built with Marjorie. Right? Steve loves this woman. But he did say that it's the black bloggers that are so nasty. Not all of us, Steve. Not all of us. I know we've had our little thing, but I'm here for you and Marjorie. I'm here for Uncle Steve. So all in all, Steve said he was trying to make a comfortable space for Shirley. Um, he said all is forgiven. She still has her job. She was so thankful for that. And then like he said, who wants their private conversations out? Like that would be bad for a lot of people. But the morning show had a lot of good things to say to Shirley. People make mistakes and they are truly here for her. So I'm going to leave you with that. It's your girl, Millie Chun. I'll talk to y'all later. And I'm sorry it was so late. Bye. Good morning. It's been a lot of strawberries. <laughs> it's is it blueberry letter now? I mean, are we changing? What is it? Yeah, we're probably going to have to make it the red cranberry. I'm proud of you, Shirley. I really am. Yeah, sure. Right. Right. It takes a lot of strength and a lot of courage to do what you did to be transparent like this, Shirley. Yeah. You know, I've said it before. You tell your story. Don't let other people tell your story. I think that, Steve, it would be good if you would talk about redemption. Yeah. You know, I think that, you know, in our journey in life, we all make mistakes.